Guys, KH63 is live. Check this out. However, a new frontal trough will drop into the deep south and stall through Wednesday. Increasing moisture ahead of the front will bring an increase in afternoon thunderstorm coverage across the area. Spotter information statement, spotter activation will not be needed today. This is the latest forecast for the Orlando area. Today, partly sunny, scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms, highs in the mid-90s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Tonight, partly cloudy, a slight chance of evening showers and thunderstorms, lows in the upper 70s. Southwest winds around 5 miles per hour. Chance of rain 20%. Wednesday, considerable cloudiness, showers and thunderstorms likely in the afternoon, highs in the mid-90s, southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, chance of rain 60%. Wednesday night, considerable cloudiness, a chance of showers and thunderstorms through midnight, and a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight, lows in the upper 70s, southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms through late morning, then afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Locally heavy rainfall possible in the afternoon. Highs in the lower 90s, southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, chance of rain 80%. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KIH-63, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.475 megahertz from Orlando. This is the hazardous weather outlook for East Central Florida. Day 1 today and tonight, thunderstorm impact, light south to southwest winds will prevail over Central Florida today, which will allow the East Coast sea breeze to develop by midday and push well inland through the afternoon. Warm air aloft will limit overall storm strength, though dangerous clouds to ground lightning strikes and gusty winds up to 40 miles per hour will be possible. Storm motion will be toward the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour, which will result in locally heavy rainfall. Rain thunderstorm gusts impact. Scattered lightning storms are expected to develop along the east coast sea breeze this afternoon as it pushes west of the I-95 corridor. Storm motion will be slow towards the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few storms may affect some of the inland lakes with wind gusts up to 35 knots, generally south of the I-4 corridor. Days 2 through 7, Wednesday through Monday, relatively dry air will continue to limit total shower and thunderstorm coverage across east central Florida through midweek. However, a new frontal trough will drop into the deep south and stall through Wednesday. Increasing moisture ahead of the front will bring an increase in afternoon thunderstorm coverage across the area. Spotter information statement, spotter activation will not be needed today. This is awesome, guys. This is the latest forecast for the Orlando area. Today, partly sunny, scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms, highs in the mid-90s, southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, chance of rain 40%. Tonight, partly cloudy, a slight chance of evening showers and thunderstorms, lows in the upper 70s, southwest winds around 5 miles per hour, chance of rain 20%. Wednesday, considerable cloudiness, showers and thunderstorms likely in the afternoon, highs in the mid-90s. Winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 60%. Wednesday night, considerable cloudiness. A chance of showers and thunderstorms through midnight. And a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the upper 70s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms through late morning. And afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Locally heavy rainfall possible in the afternoon. Highs in the lower 90s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain. This is so cool. I've never had this happen in my entire life. This is the coolest thing ever. KIH 63 in Orlando, the no voice of the National Weather Service, NOAA Weather Radio broadcasting on 162.475 is live. <laughs> that was unintentional to rhyme. But uh, I don't know why they're live. I just woke up. It's 10... 50, 10.42, so I woke up at 10.30. Um, don't judge me. As it pushes west of the I-9. Showers and thunderstorms through midnight, then a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. 
lows in the mid 70s. West winds around 5 miles per hour, becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of rain 40 to 50 percent. Thursday, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms through late morning. Same considerable cloudiness with showers and thunderstorms likely in the afternoon. Locally heavy rainfall possible in the afternoon. Highs and lower 90s. Southwest winds around 5 miles per hour, becoming south 5 to 10 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chance of rain 70 to 80 percent. Water's forecast from the Blue Ocean River County Line. Today, south of the top of the Blue Ocean River County Line. Today, south of the top of the Blue Ocean River County Line. Today, south of the top of the Blue Ocean River County Line. Today, south of the top of the Blue Ocean River County Line. Today, south of the top of the Blue Ocean River County Line. Today, south of the top of the Blue Ocean River County Line. Today, south of the top of the Blue Wednesday, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots, becoming east to southeast 5 knots in the afternoon. Keep two feet with the dominant period 8 seconds. A light chop on the intercoastal waters. Chance of showers and thunderstorms. Wednesday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots, becoming west after midnight. These two feet, mostly smooth on the intercoastal waters. Chance of showers and thunderstorms. Thursday, southwest winds 5 knots, becoming south in the afternoon. These 1 to 2 feet, smooth on the intercoastal waters. Showers and thunderstorms.